It's been in the works for years and now stage one of the Southwest Rapid Transit Corridor is nearing completion. Monday we got a sneak peek and the first ride on the newly built roadways. The Osborne underpass will undergo a dramatic change. Osborne Station will now sit atop the busy roadway. This is one of three new soon-to-be-built bus stations. High-speed routes where buses will travel 80 kilometers an hour link them. And all this new Araba Trans route could shave 10 minutes off your commute from the south end of the city to downtown. Emergency vehicles on calls will also be able to use some of the roadways. The project started in 2009 and has forced rail lines to be moved and roads to be temporarily closed. Total budget, $138 million. Here's a first for Winnipeg Transit riders, a tunnel. It's 350 meters long, or at least it will be once it's constructed, and there will be a lane going each direction, and buses can travel up to 70 kilometers an hour. Here at the Jubilee, overpass is literally the end of the line for stage one. This is where buses will merge onto Pemina Highway and into regular traffic. The plan for stage two, which is yet to be funded, is that the corridor will continue and that high-speed traffic for the buses will move all the way to the University of Manitoba. It'll be uh, a bit more than, than this. There's $138 million for stage one. Stage two is a bit longer, it's six kilometers longer. Uh, there's a couple of structures to be built, uh, but we don't have the defined cost for that yet. Um, you know, it's, uh, there's a transportation master plan that the city is doing right now, and that will be finished up by the end of the year. And uh, once that process has gone through, we'll have a, a better, better handle on those numbers. Stage one of the Southwest Rapid Transit Corridor will begin regular service next spring. Riders will not need to pay any extra fare to take the rapid transit routes. From the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe, I'm Tanya Kohut.